This is New Cap News with Bart Pityasek. Good evening. A bizarre daylight robbery in the border city last month has led to charges being laid on a 48-year-old man. According to the victim, after they arranged a meeting at a West End parking lot to buy something from another person, one of the suspects pulled a gun on them and demanded cash. They later, fl they later fled in a car before abandoning it in a gravel pit in the south of the city. Bradley Ham is facing charges including robbery, possession of a dangerous weapon, and uh, operation of a dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. He was remanded into custody and is scheduled to appear in a provincial court on April 7th. A 19-year-old woman was released without charges. Now, police are still looking for another suspect. A warrant has been issued for his arrest. Now, there are those in the community who work around the clock be and behind the scenes to help save lives. RCMP helped recognize those responders, community members and volunteers for their work on specific incidents and contributions to police services in a special ceremony last night. Katie Hudson has more on their first annual recognition ceremony. Sir uh, Robert Peel said the community are the police and the police are the community. And the community came together just as they do when responding to incidents, but this time to celebrate. If they knew the type of uh, energy and commitment it takes uh, and the stories that go behind the scenes, they would have a different view of us instead of when we give them the tickets. Among those honored was Jerry Lynn Sissons, a 911 operator, for going above and beyond. Just a 911 call, we get hundreds of them. You don't hear anything. But when Sissons could have hung up, thinking it was a prank call, she didn't. For some reason I asked if the person could respond by pressing a button if they needed police. And they did. Lloydminster Rescue Squad, a volunteer organization, also went the extra mile. That night we received the call uh, early in the morning uh, of a single vehicle rollover. And when we arrived on scene, uh, the RCP had checked the vehicle and we had noticed there was no one in the vehicle. We had uh, followed a set of tracks uh, to the west into a field. Just when it seemed like they should give up, the squad continued to search for the driver in below freezing temperatures until he was found alive. The night revealed these extraordinary people and more who often go unnoticed. And sometimes we take them for granted. So I think it's very important to show them how valued they are and even for the things that they might think are routine. Uh, it's wonderful that he can bring all groups uh, together like this at a, a great function. So we're, we're very pleased and proud to be part of it. We stand on guard for thee. Katie Hudson, Newcap News. Today is the day that permits expire for thousands of temporary foreign workers who have been in the country for more than four years. Ottawa changed the rules in 2011. They set an April 1st, 2015 deadline for workers in low-skilled jobs to either become permanent residents or leave the country. In Alberta alone, 10,000 temporary foreign workers have applied to stay in the country. As spring rolls on, construction in the border city ramps up. And with uh, any type of construction comes excavation. The Canadian Common Ground Alliance has declared April as safe digging month to spread awareness about the importance of a safe dig site. Jeremy Thompson reports. Any changes to the agreement have to be in writing, of course. David Levitt has worked for Aztec Safety for four years, teaching courses like Ground Disturbance 201. The ground isn't transparent. Uh, where we think things are, is not always where they are. They can be a lot shallower than we think. We can catch on to them and people can be killed. Anyone who works in the oil and gas industry in Alberta is required to take the course, but it's not just companies that need to worry about what's underground. If the gas co-op has a right-of-way in your backyard to bring the gas line in, you're responsible for not hitting that. Uh, there are more buried utilities in terms of kilometers than there are paved roads in Alberta, if that gives you an idea. Mike Sullivan is the president of Alberta One Call. He says no matter the scale of the project, always call before you dig. You never know how deep the utilities are. Buried utilities can be, be installed in the ground at a certain depth, and over time, now they're at a, at a, a much, much closer to the surface because of, of things like that erosion or, or landscaping. Sullivan says water and gas lines, even fiber optic cables, do get hit. And even though it might not cause an explosion on contact, just damaging a pipe's coating can have serious consequences down the road. That is a weak spot. 
and you could have a break later on. It's like taking a coat hanger and bending it and bending it and bending it. Eventually, it's going to break. It costs the person nothing to go ahead and click before they dig, but not doing so could cost them everything. Jeremy Thompson, NewCap News. And if you're planning a project that requires digging, you can call Alberta One Call First at 1-800-242-3447 or download their mobile app.